Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to another Pixar editing party. Today, we're gonna show you how to create beautiful edits with just using masks. Masks are really cool to just add to your photo and create a beautiful masterpiece. So, let's begin. Okay. The first edit I'm going to start off with is adjusting it. It's too bright. So what I'm gonna do is go to adjustments and play around with the brightness, contrast, shadows, and highlights. So as you can see, I'm putting them either up or down, playing with them to get the perfect adjustments that I want for this photo. I wanna put down the temperature because it, I want the blue undertones to come out rather than the warm ones. Okay, so I'm gonna go to filters and I will add noise. This noise is gonna give you a little bit of dusty effect to it. And then to our masks, and this time I'm gonna choose bokeh. So starting off with bokeh, I'm gonna see which one goes with this photo. So I'm trying out different ones and let's see. Okay, I like this one, but I'm going to change the hue because I don't like these colors. So let's see what we could do here. Ooh, I like this hue. Perfect, blue and pink. And we got a before and after here. And I think that's it, you guys. I like this edit as is. So post one bokeh masks just turned this edit from zero to a hundred okay guys edit number two so i feel like this girl's really cool i will crop it to a portrait position it and then i am going to take her to our masks and I want to use a neon mask for her. So going to our neon masks, I'm gonna see which one works best. So tapping on different masks, whichever I prefer, I will use. Okay, I like this one, but I'm gonna put the blending mode back to normal because I think I like the texture of the neon like this more. So applying that and then I want to give her a filter. So going to our filters, I'm going to go to pop art and choose colors. So I'm going to use color number four. It's a pinky undertone and I will put the fade a little bit higher so it's not as harsh and then give her a blush freckle we have so many cute freckles and I'm just gonna choose one of these and add it to her face And voila, Pura Vida, everybody. Okay, so for our third edit, we're gonna go slightly a bit different. Starting off, I'm gonna give her a filter. So choosing one of our movie filters, it's going to give her more contrasted effect. And then, you know how photographers give like twinkle lights? And that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go to our lights and choose twinkle lights. Actually, never mind. This is bokeh. Bokeh twinkle lights. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Cute. Okay. 
I'm gonna square fit it and put it, position it maybe on the side. Okay, position it and then apply. Then I am going to stickers. I will put in orange and try to find anything orange related. Let me see. Okay, we found a really cute orange flower. I'm just gonna position it on the bottom of the image. And then I want to give her a butterfly, so that is what I'll do. I'll get a butterfly sticker from our community and let's see. Oh, I like this one. It gives it a 3D effect. Cool. And then... I want to add some text, so I'm going to look for text. Stickers. Okay guys, lastly, for this edit, I am going back to our masks and I am going to choose a mask that it has a light flare from above. And this one is perfect for it. Um, I'm just gonna change the hue a little bit and there we go so like a before and after yeah. Okay, so for this girl, I'm going to, first thing is square fit her into a grayish background. So let's see what we've got here. Okay, apply. And then I'm going to search computer. So we have a lot of stickers that has to do with our old like Windows computer style and uh, I remember I found a really cool one which is right here. It's a renaissance image just cropped and with a little bit of shadowing. So cool. I'm going to place this on top of her face putting the opacity down just to see where to position it and just aligning it with her face. And then what I'm going to do is go to our masks and give her like an old TV, like a broken TV mask. So let me see what we got here. Actually, scratch that. I think we're going to go to our VCR or like VHS masks and use those instead. So I like this one, but I don't quite like the blending mode, so I'm just going to change it to my preference.
and then I am going to give her a cool like retro 90s VCR VHS effect to give it a little bit of more like a glitchy kind of dark look. And then Hey guys. So, for this uh, this one, I am going to create like a typography edit but first things first we're gonna give her a black and white filter so I'm choosing 1996 it gives a black and white slash polaroidish dusty effect like the 90s so choosing that apply and then going to our masks and I'm choosing our weird masks so our weird masks are a bunch of text overlays which are really really cool so I'm just going to see which one works. And I think I'm choosing this one. Yeah, music on, world off, totally. But putting the blending mode back to normal so that it's not blended in and it's just on top of her. And then since it says music, I'm going to go and get some musical notes as sticker as a background. So there we go, and then just position it to where you wanted it to be. And then I'm going to erase her and use portrait selection so that it's not on top of her. And then with my eraser, I will just erase anything that's on top of her face. And then lastly, I am going back to our masks and I want to give her a bouquet effect. So I'm using this one but putting down the opacity a bit. So as you can see, it just gives it a little hint of color. So it's not just black and white and it's a little bit of color. So. Here's the before and after. And that's it. Post. See, just a few simple steps to create something cool. Okay guys last edit for today so starting off i will go to stickers and choose dust so dust is like a polaroid dust you'll find so many stickers they're the black ones but once you blend them in you'll kind of see what i mean so choosing one and then i am going to use our blending mode and then blend it in until i get my desired dust position it and then I'm gonna put the opacity a bit down okay and then again going to our masks I am going to use the lights and see 
we like this. I'm gonna put the opacity a bit down, fade it, and make it look natural-ish. I'm just gonna save this edit and then use another light mask on top of this. And we like this one, but I'm gonna change the hue to make it more reddish, yellowish, orangish, and then put the fade down but I'm also going to blend this in so this is the best one great and there you go with just a few steps you get this awesome Polaroid looking edit I'm just gonna choose a date from our stickers and then put it on top of this and blend it in And awesome guys, you just got a new Polaroid edit. So that's it for today. I hope you like this and I hope you go and check out our masks. Bye.